What's going on everybody, Sliding Dutchman here, and today I'm in the smallest room of the house, the only extra room in the house, um, because I have something here that is a little maintenance job, but still nonetheless something that, if you've never done it before, it can seem like a big job, so you go to the garage, spend hundreds, hundreds of euros, dollars, rubles, whatever, uh, to get it done, and basically this is pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and I was like, I have to do it anyway, why not bring the camera, YouTube, you guys, why not bring you guys along, so here we go. So here's the package that I received, don't mind all the crap because I've been busy reorganizing it, because I lost a lot of it. Uh, basically what we've ordered, don't need that, first up is the package is a bit fucked, but it's a thermostat. This thing it already comes dropping out. This thing uh, is um, uh, 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 powered basically by by heat. Uh, this goes in your cooling system of your uh, 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 coolant, and when it heats up, uh, it opens and makes the flow go through your radiator, keeping your engine nice and cool. When it's cold weather and the coolant is pretty cold, it closes because of the cold fluid, the fluid that is the, of the coolant that is going through here, closes up so the engine warms up a bit more and if it's warm up, it opens again. So it's basically keeping your engine temperature good. Um, wasn't pretty solid on the Celica to begin with, so um, I was like, well, let's do that as well. It's not really a thing that needed to be, doing, be done for safety, but... Uh, you will get a lot more fuel mileage, everything out of it. Um, here we have brake pads. Something that does have to do everything with safety. Uh, two sets, left and right. You always do left and right. You never do just the left one or just the right one if you're going for... What the hell? If you're going for brakes. Because if you think, well, because uh, uh, I do, I, uh, I'm doing this because one of my calipers, uh, calipers, uh, disc brakes, uh, has the has a has a crack in it. It's like a small crack just going out like that, and I don't trust them anymore. And it, especially if you brake a little bit more firm, it starts to wobble and vibrate. And I was like, what's going on here? So I took off the wheels, checked it, and that was the issue. So I ordered new parts. Gonna smack those on and get a new um, uh, APK is what we call it, but like England calls it MOT. Uh, basically, it's uh, uh, a periodic uh, test you need to do with your car. Like, is everything still uh, working? Is every safety feature still active? Is the lights working? Is everything is there no play on ball joints and stuff? To just you do that uh, every year to make sure your car is uh, legal to go on the road. You have to do that once a year. And brakes is definitely one of them. So I already welded out a lot of rust and this is kind of the last step to do. So here we go. So I've jacked up the car, removed the wheel and I haven't been driven, driving this car for a while as you can see. Um, but uh, I've placed the wheel under the car. Why? Uh, beginner's tip. If it falls off the jack, you can also use a jack stand. Uh, but I, I I'm not laying under the car, so I think this is good enough, but if it falls off or slips off or it drops down, whatever, you have the tire there on the subframe that will hold the car off the ground, so if your leg is under there or whatever, you don't get stuck. Simple beginner tip, but uh, I think this is going to be easy because the, bra the sometimes there's just a little screw in here, or that side, or whatever, and that keeps it in place, but I think this is just held by the caliper and the wheel that is clamped on there. So. Um, the caliper, basically 12mm socket on the end of that. If you take one end off, you can flip it up, shove it out and you have room, you can take the disc off, new disc on. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna take these bolts off and show you guys the rest. Alright, so these are loose, you can even pull them out. This one still needs to go a few notches. But I think if we pull this one out, it's been a while since I've done this. 
might just be a little bit stuck here. Because of the rust, but it should fold up. You can take the stuff out and then do the other bolts, but uh, let's try and get it off. Need two hands for that. So, like I was saying, you can pull this out, flip it up. You might need to get a screwdriver under there and just wiggle it a bit because because of the rust, it's a bit like jammed there and it, the car hasn't been moving, I think, for a month. So, then, normally you can let this piece in here, uh, this one. So you flip it up, you can change the uh, the brake pads and you put the, the, just the new ones in and you flop it back. Nothing to worry. But since this is going a different direction, stay there. What you do then, is you're gonna take it all off and you'll need a zip tie, cable tie, whatever or a piece of string or whatever works but I think this is easy to use for especially something like this with one hand and you want to hang this up because this cables your brake line you don't want to stress that you don't want to damage it you don't want to just hang it up there somewhere on there or on your spring whatever because you need to work here get it out of the way you don't can then you can't damage it and it'll be safe preferably zip ties with a little thing like this so you can unzip them you don't have to cut them you can reuse them good for the environment <laughs> all right uh, let me hang this up there so that's out of the way I used two zip ties to make it a bit longer now you have the space to work on here put the bolts there don't lose them uh, for reference you can always make a picture of how it was but I know the smallest one was in the bottom biggest one was in the top so yeah you now can pry these out and they're usually a bit shit don't don't do this with the screwdriver normally but uh, because we're gonna replace the the, the pads and the, the whole rotors it doesn't matter um, as you can see it's been rusted a bit which is not uh, a problem because one time breaking and it will be gone but it's only rusted one side and the other side is pretty clean which indicates that this is not completely flat anymore and that has a full contact area maybe when it's pressed against it a bit but this shit anyway I mean look at the state of it I wonder why it was good last year uh, what you want to do normally um, these little clips you can take them out and clean them a bit and even put copper grease on it because these little slots here, they run into those. If they get stuck, your caliper will just uh, squeeze them together. Caliper will release, but the blocks will stay onto the disc and will wear a bit faster. And maybe heat up your brakes, stuff like that. So you don't want that. Um, next up, it's gonna be two bolts. One there and one there for this bracket to come off. After that, we can pull this off. So. Let me work my magic. So, we got the bottom one out, top one. Also, it was really stuck. If you use a, a, a normal uh, ratchet thing like this, uh, it will break. So what I use is just a thing like this. Stuck that one through it. And you can use a lot of more force on that. And even if it's not long enough, you can use... Oh, you can use like this, you place one over it and like this you can lock it. So you can basically extend that arm and make it a bit more of a extension to pry it loose. Now it is loose, I think it's even loose enough that I can just twist it out by hand. Where's the other one? Top one, bottom one, top one, bottom one. Should be the other way around. Yes, makes sense now. And you can take this one off. This is basically the bracket that goes to the hub and that's where your whole caliper 
goes into. So that's that. Then, because this is not attached further, this should, come on, turn back a bit. Also, yeah, the car we're working on, <laughs> it's my Celica. It's a car I got from, ooh, smudging up my phone. Car I got from a friend as a car because my other car was broken and it didn't work anymore and needed a daily. So this was my daily. I'm gonna fix it up, make it nice, make it tidy. Probably gonna sell it. And next to that one, we'll see what we're gonna do. Because I think I need an extra daily because if this gives up on a drift event, then I need something else. And uh, you can't be cheaper than this, but we'll, we'll see where it ends. Also, after the drift event, I washed my car and all the clear coat just... There was a little blister here, a little bubble, and there was like uh, uh, shampoo in it. And I was like, hey, what's that white stuff? And is it shampoo? And I sprayed over it and I just caught it and made a strip. And I was like, oh, fuck it, maybe I can get more off. So it's time for a wrap. What do you guys think? So, what was I saying? Yeah, um, so then, after you've taken everything off, and there's not a little bolt that's keeping it in place, some cars have it, my CRX had it, um, which can be a pain in the ass, because it's just a Phillips head, and it's get a bit rotten, and try to get that out, it can be a pain in the ass, so this is quite simple. Just wiggle it a bit, and it just should come off. There we go, the old one. Which is, if you look at the back, is pretty nasty because that's just the whole trail of the brake pad that has been slid into it. Look at the look at the sight lines, how thick it was, and how much has been off. The outside is a pretty decent, but damn, good thing we replaced these. So then you have just the spare bare empty hub. Um, basically, reverse the process, get the new one on clamp on, uh, pads in, make sure everything fits, and then um, should be good to go. So, uh, the new one is on, nothing nothing special, just push it on and it's there. Uh, looks a lot better. Um, this is also a good time, you can just kind of grind this up with a, a, a wire brush, I think it's called. And just make it at least sure that these little plates here are just a bit cleaned up and a bit nicer. Then, as following, you take some copper grease. You can do it in a with a with a brush, or you can have it in a can. And you just spray some copper grease on there. Now I'm gonna use both hands to do that because I don't want to spray copper grease all over the ground here. Also, if you want to make your life uh, a lot easier at the uh, in the long term. Every little bolt you take off, clean it a bit and put copper grease on top of this bolt. What does copper grease does? Uh, or what it does is you can put in the bolt easily and you can take it out easily. You can still fasten it, like uh, tighten it like crazy and it will not get loose. But as soon as you get it loose, it just rolls out there perfectly. So copper grease is a good tip. Like now it was pretty easy to get off and uh, uh, take them out. Uh, and it will be in the future if you put copper grease on all your bolts, same as with these, everything, a little bit of copper grease and you'll set up for life. So unfortunately, like always when you're working on cars, if you have a job that takes like normally an hour, make sure you have two hours time because these are the old pads. Now if you look at the shape of them, they're a lot different than my new pads. Also, there's a weird thing on there that I don't use. And yet you order your parts by uh, license plate so they, they, they know exactly what kind of car you have and you fill in what you need and you look at what you need and they send you this stuff and it's always the wrong thing. So here we are the next day. Uh, those were the old ones and then I checked the label and here it says the back so they not 
they they ordered I ordered the, the the right ones for the front and they ordered for me the back. Now the funny thing is that that can be a simple mess up, but you order it by by your license plate so they know what kind of car it is and what type. And I have drum brakes on the rear, so I don't know how they came up with sending me rear pads, but that should have been should not be possible for this type of book. Okay, whatever. So I went to the store, got myself some new pads, but will they be the right one? Of course they will. Who am I kidding? I checked at the store already because I'm not making that same mistake again. And if you now look at these, in comparison with these, they are the same. Finally, so I can finish this quite simple but now long taking job. Um, get those open. It's hard to, to do everything with one hand and film. I should maybe use a tripod, but then again, I'm in the middle of the street, so I don't know, I feel, feel awkward doing that. It's even my neighbors hearing me talk English, but just sitting between my cars on my own thinking what the fuck is that guy doing so but uh so left to right just all the same i think they're all the same so these are the new pads these will go on the other side now what they've done is that these things i fixed them a bit but they have supplied me with new ones which oh there's the camera which are a bit smaller which I don't really like, so I'm just... I think I'm gonna say... Fuck it, if they fit anyway. Is there any stupid instructions? Because uh, they will fit anyway. Are they the same size? These little nudges there. Oh, where's the camera? There. These are the same size, so it should be going like this. And I've cleaned them up, copper greased them, so should be all good. Um, I had to get get this from a friend because mine was a little bit thinner and was a piece of shit to begin with. And these two bolts gave me trouble uh, getting them off, and I just completely just bent the whole fucking rod. So uh, picked up his kit. And yeah, they just came off with no problem. So the right tools make so much of a difference. So the whole reason I was doing this because here's the new nice shiny one is this. Uh, I noticed that there was a crack and I noticed it because I was driving and then as, if you brake and a little bit harder, you can just really feel the vibrate through the steering wheel. And I was like, what is it? So I took off the wheels and I checked and I noticed there was a big focus, a big crack in it, which I don't think is safe seeing that it's like all the way through on one side and the whole disc is, has seen better days. Uh, also here on the back side, this is the big groove of here. Yeah. So that one's gone. And then it's just as simple as get the new one and place it on. Then get this caliper. Need to clean it up a little bit more, but it's already a lot better than it was. And you put that back on there, over it, and that holds it in place, caliper on, and you're done. Pretty simple, straightforward. Um, if you have the right tools and you have done this before, I reckon you can do this in an half an hour, easy. Um, also, with putting the caliper back on, like on the other side, I had a bit of trouble getting it in. Uh, that will be the same on this, so I'll show you guys in a bit how I did that. Now, as I showed you guys on the other side, the piston is out, so it doesn't clear uh, the whole caliper. Oh, the the brake pads that is because the new ones you see how thick they are in comparison with the old one that was on the back side that really had that pattern in 
terrible and the front side where the crack was really did some damage just eating away the front of the the pad because it was it's ridiculous really good i did this um so i need to push that back and sometimes you can squeeze it back in it takes a lot of force though but the only thing i have right now is this and i cannot apply the right pressure to it to really push all the oil back into the system so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place this on here and this is the way you can normally bleed the brakes um, i also recommend you do that just to be sure uh, i open this then the oil can come out and then i uh, apply pressure to the piston like this or this thing and push it in all the way back um, and just to make sure i will bleed the brakes afterwards but that's a two-man job so i need to ask someone one of my buddies to help me with that um, but then after that it should be all good so both sides are on now it's all new brake pads in new discs and it just it looks shiny man almost better than the rest of the, <laughs> the ugly side with the pink door but um yeah just all i have to do now is put the wheel back on pull the jack underneath it and clear up my tools and we all done so that is done uh i still need to bleed the brakes just to be sure uh they feel like they work but there's a little bit squishiness and they were like solid so i still even though it's the brakes you don't want to mess with that so to bleed them um so other than that i still need to do the thermostat and after that it's ready for my ex inspection and it should be good um so this way i've saved myself like two three hundred euros by doing it myself by ordering the parts i was i think like around 80 bucks uh total cost of the discs and the pads so it's not that expensive if you go to a garage they will charge you way more and without all the things that were keeping me down like not having the right tool or running out of daylight um because i did like 15 minutes and then uh, uh, uh i didn't have the right tool or like 15 minutes and then started to get uh the daylight uh, uh why the sun went down so uh i didn't have any light to work with and it was cold outside so, uh, and I still have the BMW as a daily, so there's no rush to like, I need to fix it, so I need to drive it tomorrow. So that's, that's nice to have, not that pressure. Um, so yeah, that way you can see, you can just easily uh, save yourself a lot of money by doing this. Uh, I highly recommend, even if you don't know how to do it, it's basically four bolts each side. Uh, two for the, the, the caliper uh, shoe to come off and then for the whole bracket another two and swap swap and place it back in puts a little copper grease so if you ever need to do it again or for the next owner just be really cool and put some copper copper grease on all your bolts uh and that's so it, it, it they can always get it loose so uh hope you like this simple kind of instruction video i was like yeah it's work on cars still need to do it i know basically how to do it haven't done that that much but i know how to do it and it can help some other people by doing it themselves, saving up some or saving some money by have to go to a repair shop or whatever. Um, so I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace.